Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you exactly how I managed to nearly double my salary after only 11 months of working at my first full-time job. I'm also going to show you why what I did worked and I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing and if you stay till the end I'm actually going to walk you through and demonstrate how you would apply this to the real world. And by the way, the principles behind this story apply to whatever you might be doing, so you don't necessarily have to be working a job for a salary. This works just as well if you have a business or you're doing a freelance service. Whatever it is, uh, I'm going to show you how you can get paid more than you get paid now. Okay, so if you don't know anything about me, I went to college to get a bachelor's degree because, you know, that's what everybody told me that I should do, that, you know, if you want to be successful and you don't want to end up as a garbage man, <laughs> that's what my parents always told me, if you don't want to end up as a garbage man, you want to actually do something with your life, then you have to get a college degree. Okay, so I went to college after high school, I uh, got my degree, couldn't find work for a whole year, and then decided in my brilliance at the time that since college had failed me, and, you know, completely failed to help me get a job, I could only get stupid little part-time jobs, that the best way to fix this was to go get more college. So, uh, you know, in my infinite wisdom, that's what I did. I went back to college to get a master's degree. Now, predictably enough, the stuff that I learned in my degree program wasn't particularly useful, and nobody really cared that I had the degree, but during that time, I also managed to teach myself some things that I learned for free on the internet, that were a whole lot more useful than anything I had learned in my six years of college. So what those were, were data analysis skills. In particular, I taught myself how to code in SQL, which is short for Structured Query Language, which is not really a full programming language. It's just for grabbing data from a database. It's actually super easy. Um, I taught myself to do this on a free course online. I think it was sqlcourse.com. It took me about two hours to complete. And so I got my first full-time job because I knew SQL, which, you know, my bachelor's degree didn't teach me, my master's degree didn't teach me, I just taught myself in, in two hours for free on the internet. But anyway, so I got, I got that job, um, it was my first full-time job, but I was making $36,000 a year. And when I took that job, I didn't really know how to do much of anything, I just, you know, kind of learned a little bit on the internet, and that was enough to pass the interview. And then, as far as actually doing the job, I had to kind of figure out while I was going along. But anyway, less than a year later, uh, I had filled out my LinkedIn profile and put some of the new skills that I was, that I was learning and, and what, that I had taught myself online. And uh, less than a year later, I got an email from a recruiter who wanted to hire me for a job that paid $55,000, which is a pretty nice raise over $36,000. So uh, I talked to them. I actually got offered the job. But I thought I didn't want to just take the first one that came along, so I'd, I'd, you know, take a look at what else was out there in the market. So long story short, I got offers from three different companies because I went and applied to some other jobs. And the, the top paying offer was $70,000. So going from $38,000 to $70,000 within just a period of, of 11 months, not even a full year. And it's funny, actually, I was so excited about that job offer that I was going to be getting paid $70,000 a year, which, you know, doesn't seem like so much now, but at the time, I was so excited about that. Actually, I was, I was driving, and a guy, I got in a car accident. A guy pulled out of a parking lot. I was just driving straight, and a guy pulled out of a parking lot and ran into my side, the side of my car, and I was just so happy, like, I didn't care. The guy was, you know, the guy realized that he was at fault and he was apologizing. He felt really bad. I just had like a smile on my face. I didn't care. I was so happy that day. Anyway, so the moral of the story, what I want you to get out of it that you can actually apply to your own life, you know, besides just uh, realizing that college is useless, right, which I've talked about many other times, is that how much you get paid depends on how much value you provide. So if you provide a lot of value for a company, or for a customer, or for a client, right? Remember I said that this is relevant whether you're in business or you have a job or whatever you're doing, this is always relevant because how much you get paid from your customers or your employer, whoever it is, depends on the value that you provide. And the value that you provide when you're in a job setting is all about the skills that you have. So if you want to get paid more, you want to have higher value skills. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up icon and if you want more stuff like this in the future, hit the subscribe and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get all my new videos. And if you happen to know anybody who might be struggling or doesn't really know how to advance in life, then share this video with them. 
you might be helping those people a lot. So if you think about what that means, a high value skill is something that supports the business in a significant way, but it's not something that everybody else can do, right? So if you're flipping burgers at McDonald's, that's not a high value skill because anybody in the world can flip burgers at McDonald's. But if you're building queries out of a database using SQL, well, that's not something that anybody can do. I mean, probably just about anybody can figure out how to do it if they actually put themselves towards learning and actually go to sqlcourse.com and learn for free in two hours like I did. But so few people are ever willing to take that kind of initiative because everybody needs to be directed, right? That's what college is all about. That's what the, the normal job situation of most people is, is all about, that they can learn if somebody tells them what to learn. If the professor tells them, flip to page 125 in the textbook and, and read the first paragraph, right, they can do that, but if they have to actually figure out what and where to learn themselves, most people are completely lost. So anyway, how much money you get paid has to do with how useful the skill is that you have and how rare it is. So if anybody else can do it, then it's just not really that valuable. Okay, so now at this point, probably you realize that, that you could benefit from having some skills, from teaching yourself some skills that you don't already have, but you might need some guidance as to what those skills might be. So I'm gonna help you with that a little bit. Now, the first thing that I would recommend is you just do a little digging, do a little looking around and figure out what kind of job, or you know, if you want, what kind of business, what kind of freelance gig, what is it that you would ideally like to be doing? What kind of job would you say, I would be happy, I would be fulfilled doing this, I'd be happy with the pay. What is it that you want to be doing? And if you need some help figuring that out, go to a job site and look at all the postings. Like if you see what I have up right now is remote.co. Now I'm a big fan of remote jobs because remote jobs give you so much more freedom than a regular job. I mean, you're still better being, on, being in business in my opinion, but a remote job is a lot better than a traditional job because you can, you can travel wherever you want, whenever you want, etc. So find a job site, whether it's a remote job site or a regular job site, and just kind of look through the things that, that are out there. Don't worry about whether you're qualified or not. You know, we'll figure that out later. Just figure out in an ideal world what would be your job. And by the way, if you'd like more guidance in figuring out what is the right path for you and how to go down that path, how to teach yourself the skills, how to find the, the jobs or the opportunities or build the business of your dreams, then I'm currently developing a system that's going to help you do exactly that. It's going to help you figure out exactly what you want to do and it's going to help you actually do it. It's going to show you exactly the steps that you need to take. So if that's something that interests you, I'd really like to hear in the comments. Let me know if you'd be interested in that program. Anyway, so I was going through uh, the remote job sites, just looking at, at what there was to kind of find an example that I could use for this video. So I found this job that I thought was really interesting. I was looking at marketing jobs because I believe that if you have a job, uh, you should, if at all possible, make it for more than just paying your bills. You should have a job that's actually going to teach you skills that are going to help you in whatever it is you want to be doing ultimately in your life. And if you want to be successful in any kind of business, basically, it really helps to know marketing. So if you can get paid and get better at marketing at the same time, that's not such a bad deal. So let's take a look at this job. Uh, marketing operations specialist at a company I've never heard of. Now, I uh, pay $60,000 a year. You know, not bad. It's a remote job which is awesome, means you can, you can uh, travel wherever you want, and yeah, it says United States or Canada, that just means you have to be a citizen of the United States or Canada. You know, if you live in Europe, or you live in some other country, then you can't apply for this job, but probably there are companies in, in your country that'll have similar jobs. Um, so I like to go right down to responsibilities. Now, uh, a lot of this stuff, I, I like to like kind of search for keywords of things that you can learn. So. If you want to have this job, uh, then you, you need to learn the skills that are in the job description. So the first one I noticed was HubSpot. Now, I've never even heard of HubSpot. It says uh, it's a marketing and CRM platform. So the first thing that I would do is, well, make a list of all these first and then, and then go learn something about these. Learn how to, ideally, how to use HubSpot because you know, you're doing marketing and that's their primary marketing platform. So the more you know about HubSpot, 
uh, the better chance you are of getting that job. And then website maintenance, there's CML, CSS, JavaScript, Mustache, JS. There's a bunch of stuff there. And probably it's just basic website maintenance. So probably you don't need to know a whole lot about that. But if you read up and just at least understand what each of these things are, uh, that would help. And then Salesforce, there's another one to learn. And then, okay, about you. Um, and these things like an excellent communicator, just don't worry about, you know, they're just totally generic. So passion about combination, blah, 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 who cares? Uh, yeah, okay, HubSpot experience, that's the one you want to look for. And then pulling reports and making data informed decisions, you can probably manipulate something into that. Okay, now the nice to have is actually more, more relevant. So copywriting experience. If you don't know what copywriting is, uh, check out this video that I did a long time ago about the five high income skills you can teach yourself in two weeks. One of those is copywriting. Copywriting just means writing text that is persuasive. So that's a very valuable skill that a lot of companies will pay you a lot for. So if you don't know anything about copywriting, just find a copywriting course on the internet. I will I will put a copywriting course that I like in the description. That you can take that if you want. Or, you know, there's a million other ones you can take as well. Copy editing experience, right? If you just have decent grammar, I think that's all that means. Salesforce, you know, search for Salesforce. Learn what you can about Salesforce. Basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Markdown. This is, the, you know, these are the things we already talked about. Uh... Okay, and so that's it. Though, like those are all the skills you have to learn. And by the way, notice it says don't check all the boxes. It's saying you don't have all of these skills. We invite you to apply anyway. Now they say it explicitly on this job posting, but that's true of every job posting in the history of the universe, right? They they never expect to find their ideal candidate. Their ideal candidate is a phantom. It's a, a fantasy that does not exist in reality. They know that normal people don't have all of these exact skills that they want. So don't be afraid to apply just because you don't know absolutely everything in there. And now if you look at the benefits, uh, you get 60 grand a year plus equity, which is awesome. So if the company, you know, makes it big, that could be worth a lot of money. Yeah, I read there was a guy from, from Groupon that, that just wrote those little quirky lines uh, for, for the Groupons and he was one of the first people to get in and so he got equity and then Groupon absolutely blew up so he became like a multi-millionaire just for for having a job writing stupid lines and then four weeks vacation uh, $150 a month for your phone and internet and then $5,000 for, for uh, equipment right so you can have like the the most fancy office you could ever want and then they pay for your gym. So this is a pretty sweet job by job standards. Again, like I prefer not to have a job, but if you are gonna have a job in order to teach yourself marketing on your way towards building a business, then this is a pretty nice place to be working fully remote. So all you really need to do, and by the way, notice what is not anywhere uh, in that list of either the, the things about you or the nice to haves. There is nothing saying that you need a college degree. More and more companies are moving to this because they realize that a college degree just doesn't matter. College degree is a piece of paper that you get for sitting in a chair for four years. All you have to do is show up. You don't have to be good at anything. You don't have to be useful for anything. And companies are starting to catch on to this. So don't think that if you don't have a college degree, that, that you don't have an opportunity for, for jobs like this. You absolutely still do. And so what actually does matter is the skills that you have. So if you're gonna learn uh, Salesforce, for example, right? Uh, how you go about learning that, you have to take some initiative. And this is what is going to set you above 98% of people in the world is your ability to actually take initiative. And I'll show you what you need to do to take the initiative. It's pretty easy. Go to Google and search for Salesforce, or search, let's say, learn Salesforce. Plan. The fun way to learn in-demand skills, Salesforce. Uh, how a beginner should start with Salesforce learning. 
how to learn Salesforce from beginning to professional. Look, you have all of these resources at your fingertips, so use them. Any skill that you might want to learn, you can learn. There's really no excuse. Just search in Google for how to learn this skill and then follow the directions. That's all you got to do. Then once you have a basic level of all these skills, which you can probably teach yourself in a few weeks at maximum, right? That's a lot less than the four or six or eight years that you go to college. And I'm going to include in that program I told you about before that I'm developing to show you what is your ideal path and how to get there. I'm going to include how to actually apply for those jobs and get hired because that's a whole skill in itself. So again, please let me know in the comments if you're interested in that because I want to know how many people actually want this. And if you don't want to go the job route and you want to have a business like a lifestyle business that's going to bring you income uh, while you're sleeping, of course I'm going to include that in the program too, but uh, you can find a few ways to do that in this video. And of course if you enjoyed this, if you found this video helpful, please do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.